could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. You know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. But nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. What was I swear I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. We would shut down. All right, now let's get into some other news today. We're going to get into Serena Williams. Now, we haven't been talking about the LGBTQ AI as far as no <laughs> by Joe Brown. I don't know what AI mean, baby. Well, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Um, right here, Miss Serena Williams has refused to play against a transgender um tennis play it okay venus williams forfeit match against the trans woman your opinion okay full story let's get to it let me see just read it to you a little bit i'm not playing the man that's what she said venus um venus williams forfeit match and that's not serena you know serena look mm, serena gonna play him Serena, like, I'm going to play you. I thought it was Serena, but it's Venus. Venus is one of the best tennis players ever to grace the spotlight. She and her sister Serena have won more combination titles than any prior sisters in sports. So when Venus, so when Venus took the stand and refused to play a game against Joe, Josephine, LeBron, a France, a France, or of France, I'm sorry, of France, she made a huge statement. I'm not trying to be the next Belly Jane King. She said, I'm playing, I'm, I'll, I'll play any man for charity or for fun, but for my livelihood, hell no. She already know. She like, listen, I practice all my life, all my life as a little girl, and I know human anatomy. I know the capability of men, okay? And it's so crazy because I was talking to my son about this. You know, I talked to him. I said, listen, the way that society has men set up, y'all think it's okay to be like this because women pick up the pieces. That's not how it's supposed to be. You are supposed to know your place. There are, your place means there are some things that women cannot do that you can do. I will be the first to admit it. There are, I mean, me. My look, some of the things I do, you know, like when I be trying to pull a screw in the curtain thing, and that don't be hard. It be a lot of other stuff, but you know, and there's certain things that women can do that men can do. So to have us in the arena, head to head, first and foremost, is ungodly, unnatural, because that's not how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be the yin and yang, and we're supposed to take our differences and make them feng shui together. Now, I know they think that the tables are turned because Miss Venus, but that look like Serena. That's what I'm saying. What? Hold up. What does that like, Serena? Hold up. I'm looking at the picture. Why did that look like Serena? Oh, I guess you know what it is because Serena don't look like Serena no more. And Venus look more like how Serena's supposed to look. Yes, Serena is the light-skinned one with the blonde hair. Hold up. I'm sorry. I'm like, this is Serena, but I forgot she done changed like a Beyonce. Oh, love. I'm sorry. Kind of threw me off. But anyway, like like I was saying, it's certain things that us as women, we should admit that we cannot do. We may can do it, but it's going to take us twice the strength and the capability to do it at the capacity of a man. So Venus said, I play you for fun because I respect what you are, but I'm not playing for my livelihood. Like, I'm not stupid. So shout out to Miss Venus for standing her ground and protecting her title and protecting women. Even though she said it was just for that, she, she knew, like, listen, I'm not about to do this. We're not about to set this tone. I'm not about to play this role. You know, get me in a position where you were saying that I support this. Thank you. So we're going to keep our eye on it. Let's see what happened because soon as somebody say, I don't want to do that, then everybody's up in their feelings, boycott, oh, she ain't trans and all of this stuff. No, I just, if I was Serena, I'd be like, no, I just know that you possibly could spank my ass this naturally. And I'm not about to play that. Like I told them, even when women stand up to men to fight a man, some women that could just, 
knock people out. Okay, cool. But naturally, the strength in a man, his um, circadian rhythm, his bone density, baby, please, girls, y'all playing Russian roulette. Respect the throne. I'm just keeping it real. Like, I don't want to see a man that's a loose cannon. It do make me a little nervous. That's why I told women, when men get like that, get the pistol. suit. But, I, you know, but I don't get a man like that. You see what I'm saying? We have to know our position. And anytime it get like that, when we just keep running our mouth and they want to run their mouth, you walk away, women, because some of these men are so feminine. They so feminine that they'll get in their feelings. And what I explain to young men is that the difference between actual women and men is that we could talk, 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 talk. You see me? I'll talk you three, four, five hours. Get hype. Go back down. Men, you get hype. You get hype. You get hype. You see what I'm saying? You got that little thing. And then you thinking you're a woman. And then what men do usually, they don't talk a lot. I'm going to be honest. Not all men. You know, I'm kind of put them in categories. But a man is more like when it comes to arguing, they lose words faster. Let me say that. Unless they just grew up with women and they just know how to argue and shit. But at some point that they lose words and they have to, you know, go with the hands. Okay. And women, you need to know that, that if it gets like that, <sighs> walk away. Okay. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course, which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step -step guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.